so with it. What's going on everybody, Diallo Rex coming to you live with yet another video and I want to talk about Paul George joining Russell Westbrook in the Oklahoma City Thunder. I like to call him the Oklahoma City Westbrooks because um, he's the only one that be out there, you know, dribbling majority of the shot clock off and be taking almost a hundred or something shots. Ain't nothing going to change now that Paul George is here. He just got somebody that he could pass to every now and then. Um, I, I just believe that uh, Russell Westbrook is a high head and you can get into his head easily. You know, Russell Westbrook going to be who he is. That's just who he is. Ain't nobody going to change it because he was the same way pretty much with, you know, Kevin Durant. He just had to defer to Kevin Durant. And, you know, it's still his team. So he's going to do what he can to make Paul George feel, you know, like he's home, you know, feel like he has a home. But in the fourth quarter, Russell Westbrook going to be Russell Westbrook, period, turnovers, et cetera, you know, and I like Russell Westbrook, and I think that he's a, a, a great player, but at the same time, he's just a shell of himself, and he's going to be who he is, that's how I see it, you know, and, you know, I just, the, the main thing I like about Russell Westbrook is his fire competitiveness, and I think that he's, he's great, um, but, however, I just don't think that him and Paul George are going to be on the same page for the first year. I, I actually think that this is just a one-year rental in terms of, you know, both of players will be pitched to join the Lakers next season. And they felt as though that Lonzo Ball would be able to play the one because he'll be able to get both players involved. And, you know, Russell Westbrook could probably be better at the two. Um and I think Russell Westbrook is a great player, but I don't think that as far as like his consistency, I would have rather have D'Angelo Russell opposed to having, um, you know, either Lonzo Ball or Russell Westbrook. That's just my personal opinion, you know. And um, for me, I think the Lakers direction is just lost. You know, they don't know who they want to be the starting point guard, whether it's Jordan Clarkson or whether it's D'Angelo Russell or whether it's Lonzo Ball. So, um I feel like the direction is just all over the place. They don't have a bench next season. And, and that's what I'm going to talk about in another video. That's for another video. But, you know, everybody already know that I'm not super high on Paul George anyway. You know, I don't think that that's going to be enough to beat the Golden State Warriors if they happen to bring Kevin Durant back. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think that Paul George was just so ready to get out of Indiana instead of being patient. It's like, you know, and they didn't want to, you know, just not give up anything you know they just want didn't want him to walk away and and just lose you know everything you know they felt like they wanted to get something for Paul George but I don't think that getting Oladipo and getting you know um whoever else that they got they said bonus I don't think that was a good a good deal for the you know for the Indiana Pacers so they just took what they could get but you know and they and I think that with the Boston Celtics they wanted some more young pieces they wanted to you know the Indiana Pacers wanted more pieces from the Boston Celtics, but they weren't they weren't willing to give up that. You know, they probably didn't want to give up Avery Bradley, which I wouldn't either. You know, especially if Paul George has already you know had plans on being the Lakers and they weren't sure you know what he really wanted to do. So, you know, they just tried to get as much as they can for Paul George. But you know, my thing is, I think that Paul George should have just you know just been a little bit more patient or try to find something else. You know, but I mean, he he wants to be a Laker. You know, he wants to be a Laker. So, um, I, I'm not, I don't think that it's going to work, you know. I don't think that the, it's going to work with Russell Westbrook and Paul George. You know, they don't have no other star on that team anyway, other than those two players. And, you know, we're going to see who Russell Westbrook really is in the fourth quarter. Because what happens when you got somebody like Patrick Beverly, who will be checking, you know, Russell Westbrook, and because once you get in his head and once you stop him, you have to force Paul George. You know, there's no other threat out there for them. You know, there's no other threat on that team. So once you stop, once you limit Paul, uh, once you limit Russell Westbrook, you know you gotta force Paul George to beat you. And once, like Paul George, once he gets it, he get he can get it going. But when he when he doesn't have it going. You know, he doesn't 
you know, impact on in no other way, in no other fashion. And I'm not high on Paul George. He couldn't even get, you know, he couldn't even win one game against the Cavaliers. But anyway, y'all get in that comment box. Let me know what y'all think. I'm Diallo Ricks. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Look. Straight from the soul, would it?